What is going on, guys? What is going on, guys? Welcome back. For the new viewers, my name is Slovy. And today we have a fun video for you. We got dogs barking in the background like always. We got chainsaws up the road. Pretty soon we'll probably have a lawnmower. In the meantime, we're gonna fight the wind too. We got the grill, we got the charcoal, three coolers, and 40 pounds of potatoes. We've already went through and poked the holes in all the potatoes. I just have to wrap them in tin foil. And we are gonna do a hot cooler potato challenge. So we're gonna load up these coolers with hot potatoes and we're gonna test the temperature of them until it starts to cool off. So I don't know what to expect. I just thought it's something different, something fun. And next we're gonna wrap up the potatoes with the tin foil and get them on the grill. So before we wrap them up though, we're gonna get the grill going. I got charcoal, so we're gonna do half charcoal. We're gonna do half gas. And hopefully they all fit. I'm looking at them and I'm a little nervous. It was a 50 pound bag of potatoes. You get them cheap in the southern tier, 10 bucks for a 50 pound bag. We've already ate about 10 pounds of them here. You gotta, you gotta eat them before they go bad. So let's get this grill going. That's how you burn a house down, guys. Last time I used two bags like an idiot in Christmas time, I had to rush in the house and get my dad. The, paint, the flames were up the side of the house. And what do we do? We still keep the grill in the same spot. holes in them already guys. I think I said that already. So the holes let all the steam and stuff out so they don't like bust. I've been wanting to do this for a while. Well since I started my YouTube channel. As soon as I did the the other cooler challenge with the ice, I was like I've never really seen anybody do a hot cooler challenge. So and I knew where I could get potatoes for cheap. So if you're in the southern tier, during the fall foliage weekend, they sell them for 10 bucks a bag. Outside, sometimes it's outside the house. If you're in Redfield, up north, you can get the 50 pound bag for 12 bucks. You go down Route 30, in Williamstown, and there's a little tiny farm stand. And they sell 10 pound bags of potatoes and 50 pound bags of potatoes. You can get red or you can get white. Keep it local. Keep it local. So there's some really big potatoes in here. In the next video I do, gonna be a big potato video. This, remember, this is the hot cooler challenge, and I'm gonna go get some stuff, and we're gonna we're gonna show you how to load these big potatoes up for football Sunday. One time for New Year's Eve, I brought a bunch of potatoes to my uncle's house and brought all the fixings, and I used this style. I cooked them on a charcoal grill, and then I put them into a cooler. And they stayed hot all night. She's recording, buddy. Okay, okay. He's hot. What do you know guys, we started recording again and the chainsaw's back on. So guys, we're 
gonna put them in there for about an hour. I still have more potatoes to wrap, but I ran out of tin foil, so I wanted to at least get them ones started. And then we're gonna find some tin foil. And then do the gas side, and we'll do that for an hour. And then we'll get them into the coolers. All right guys, now we're gonna do the um, gas side. Hopefully we have enough propane for it. We're gonna keep her right on high too. What are you pointing the camera at? <laughs> no, the grill actually. Not. Good cameraman are hard to, hard to find guys. <laughs> He's swearing at me. Can't pull a light out a lot of bed early in the morning. That's a true story. We got 92 baked potatoes, guys. We're gonna put them inside these coolers. As soon as they're done, I'm gonna give them about an hour. I'm not even sure that we're gonna flip them. It's 12.15, so 1.15. Check them. We'll check them. Guys, crush that like button, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you know when I'm uploading videos, and comment below, you did all that. And let me know what you think. Let me know what cooler you think's gonna win. We're using the Yeti 35. We're using the Coleman Mini Steel Belt. And I got this little Coleman 9 quart that every once in a while I keep some spirits in. So we're gonna do them three. We're gonna check them every once in a while. I don't think we're gonna be going five days, but comment below, let me know what you think. Next time we'll be pulling out the potatoes. I'm actually gonna make another video of baked potatoes. So stay tuned for that. Come back we'll get these potatoes off the grill guys we'll see you there all right guys we're back and we're gonna load the coolers up with the potatoes we're gonna start with the Coleman nine quart we're not gonna put too many in there So we're gonna do the initial temperature check. They just got put in there. I'm not expecting much, but in the corner it's reading 67 degrees, 69. The baked potatoes are reading like 70, which that's kind of surprising to me, 75. So what? I expect to happen is the next time I open it, the cooler will be hotter than it is right now. Because they just got put in there. This cooler is reading 102. 97. And then the little cooler. It's reading 90, 85 degrees. So we're gonna leave them for a little while. And when we come back in a little while, we're gonna check the temperatures again. I don't, I don't know how often I'm gonna check them. Uh, but I'm gonna check them at least two times today and then before I go to work tomorrow and then when I come home from work, I think that'll be it. I want some potatoes for dinner. Guys, it's been about two hours. The temperature is 41 degrees outside. So we're gonna do our first check-in and see what the temperature is. I'm gonna try to do it quick because I don't want all the heat to escape. Oh, 
Oh yeah. 141 degrees. Guys, the Yeti is 141 degrees. That's pretty impressive if you ask me. That's not what I was expecting. The mini steel belt vintage is 106 degrees. I think that's a pretty big difference. The mini Coleman's 95 degrees. So you could tell right now by the insulation which one's hotter. Anything over 100 degrees to me is pretty hot right now. It's only been a couple hours, so I'm interested to see what it's gonna to be tomorrow morning when I come out here. So we'll be back then. Good morning, guys. It's Monday morning, seven o'clock. Still a little dark out. Getting ready to go to work. I wanted to do a check-in. We'll be perfectly honest with you. Last night about eight o'clock, I took a potato out of the blue cooler for a little snack, and it was already cooled off. It was like lukewarm. Um, if I did a check-in, I probably would have took that cooler right out at that time, but we're still gonna check the temperature of it right now. It's pretty cold outside. Let me shoot the deck real quick. Yeah, the deck's coming in at 35 degrees, so it got pretty cold last night. So let's check these coolers quick, and then depending on what they are, I'm gonna check them when I get home too. See what he does, he runs outside and just barks at nothing. Every morning and every night. So let's check these coolers. So the blue cooler is reading pretty much the same temperature as the air temperature. The vintage steel belt is reading the same temperature as the air temperature, 34, 35 degrees. The potatoes aren't even warm anymore. So the Yeti is reading 74 degrees, so we have a clear winter, guys. Um, I didn't expect to lose the mini steel belt as quick as I did. I kind of expected the Coleman, the little mini Coleman, the blue one, nine quart, to be gone. So what I'm gonna do, guys, is I wanna check the Yeti one more time. I'm gonna go to an eight hour work day. As soon as I get home, I'm gonna open that up and check it. And I will wrap this video up. I'm pretty excited that it's still 74 degrees. I mean, the potatoes are probably still pretty edible. You can still use them anyways. Heat them up in the microwave if you want. Um, we're probably gonna have potatoes for dinner again. So let's go to work. And then when we come back, we'll wrap this video up, guys. Hope you guys are having a good day. We'll see you soon. What is going on, guys? I just got out of work, just got home. I wanted to do the last check-in with the Yeti cooler for the baked potato heat challenge. We're gonna look in there, see what the temperature is. It was, I believe, if I remember correctly, it was 74 degrees this, this morning. We lost both the other coolers. So we're gonna check this one and then we're gonna wrap things up. So the Yeti is at 66 degrees. We put the potatoes in there about 2.30. No, we put the potatoes in there about 1.30 Sunday afternoon, 10.21. It's 10.22, it's 4, 4.50 on Monday. So they're in there a good, they're in there a good amount of time. Just to recap, by this morning, the blue nine quart cooler Coleman and the vintage steel belt Coleman were pretty much out of play. They were the, the air temperature, I think this morning was 34 degrees. Both coolers rang in at like 34, 35 degrees. And then the Yeti was 74 degrees. 
So we have a clear winner, the Yeti. Obviously, I'm guessing the more insulation there is, the better off you are. It seals really well too. We did 40 pounds of baked potatoes. There was 92 of them to be exact. Wrapped them in tin foil, put them on the grill for an hour. We charcoaled half of them and then we put the high heat on the other half. Put them into the coolers and we let them sit. We took the temperature a few times to come to our conclusion. The Yeti's the winner. So in this cooler challenge, baked potato style, how long can the cooler hold heat? So if you guys like videos like this and you have some more ideas for me, let me know in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for, so much for all your support. I love you guys. I've been having a blast doing this. And I look forward to the next video. And we'll see you next time. Gotta be